Hey guys, it's the Geodude here, and today we are in Daytona at the Daytona International Speedway to find a couple geocaches and, of course, attend uh, the truck race that's going on. So, that's coming up next. Okay, guys, so the hint was maple or sweet gum, base of tree. And I, I keep on thinking I'm spotting it, but. No. Uh. Hmm. I don't. Oh gosh. Nothing like a nice branch in your mouth. Yeah. Oh well. That's this is definitely a maple tree because I just stuck my hand in sap. It said near base of tree. So I'm gonna see if I can super tree leaf. I'm gonna see if I can get in there and see if I can find. The geocache. Yeah, I just fell. So far, we have no luck. This branch is hurting. Oh. Ah. Isaac, what's that supposed to be? <sighs> a micro. What? Wow. Okay, so he really. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> that is really weird, though. Like. Okay. It's just this and it's just stuck into a tree. It's, what do you think that is, Dad? It's like feathers or, I don't know. This is really weird. There's a lot of, there's a lot of trash around here too. So I'm leaning on this, oh gosh, goodness gracious. There I go. Okay. So now I'm on the ground. Yeah. Okay guys, not looking too good. We've searched everywhere. We're just not doing good. Oh, I can see my breath. <sighs> you don't get that much in Florida. Okay guys, looks like we're gonna have to move on to our next cache. That's a bummer. So, Father, how did you feel about DNFing that first cache? Disappointing. Like a good location, good site. Yeah, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Got one pond over here, another pond over there. Oops. <laughs> silly ducks caches are not food. Those silly ducks keep on eating the caches. How dare they? Okay guys, so we are at our second cash and I just found a Munzee. Oh gosh. I just found a Munzee. This one is called Red Herring and basically a red herring is a cash that you find it and then you open it up and it says, sorry, not the cash. So I'm feeling like that's what it's going to do to us. So I'm not exactly sure, but this one is a small sized. All it is electrical box, electrical box, electrical box. It's crazy, and this is my battery pack because I'm having to charge my camera. Wow. Hmm, look what I found. Hey, this looks suspicious. Okay, guys, so I'm trying to open this thing. Uh, uh. Okay, I don't know, guys. <laughs> Okay, I feel really, really silly because my dad nodded over here and I looked up and boom. What could that be? Geo Dad, could you please retrieve that mysteriously looking object? Hmm, magnetic. Interesting. Could that be the cash or is it a red herring? Dun. It's the cash. Look at that. That was pretty cool. What do we have in there? What is this, a calculator? Hmm. No, oh, is this lighter fluid? What is this? Oh, it's hand sanitizer. Okay, so what was this? It looks like they put a couple magnets in the bottom. Hmm, very cool. Put a couple magnets there. Very cool. So here's the log. 
Can't believe we found it. That was so awesome. So we're loading it up. Whoops. We're loading it up with pins and flag pins. And then we'll sign the log and I'll put some of my path tags in there. And then this thing will be loaded up with swag. And then also, see that's pretty cool. And then I also have my turtle, see, cause this is my icon on geocaching and then this is my path tag I designed by myself. Pretty cool, I was happy with the turnout. They came a few months ago and I've been leaving them, trading them on pathtags.com, so I'll leave these in the cache. Oh, will it fit? I think it will. So that, I'm not gonna take anything. So let's see if it can fit. Would it fit? Perfect, look at that. So let's put the cache back. It's all the way over here. This thing is actually pretty heavy. So I'm gonna run and lob this up. There we go. Wasn't bad. today's adventure. I hope you enjoyed the footage of the race and also the footage of me finding that cool geocache. I'm definitely going to give it a favorite point because it was really creative and it was lots of fun to find. So, as always,